An accident happens, causing harm, and leaving the plaintiff unsure of just how the injury came to be. Does a plaintiff without direct proof of the defendant's negligence have any hope of a recovery? Krebs v. Corrigan says yes. According to the doctrine of res ipsa loquitur, sometimes the accident speaks for itself. Artist Rockney Krebs entered his studio and was surprised to find Dennis Bronson's station wagon parked inside. The vehicle's bumper was nearly touching one of Krebs's plexiglass sculptures. Krebs hadn't given Bronson permission to park inside. Bronson explained that he was trying to avoid the chilly weather while fixing dents in the car. Krebs gave Bronson a dent-removing tool to speed up his work and told Bronson to remove the car as soon as possible. At that moment, a wall-mounted phone rang. Krebs walked to the phone and answered with his back to Bronson. As he chatted with the caller, Krebs turned around. He saw Bronson flying three feet in the air. Bronson crash-landed on a plexiglass sculpture. Four sculptures ended up destroyed. Krebs sued Bronson and Bronson's principal, Donald Corrigan, for negligence. At trial, Krebs testified that he saw Bronson crash into the sculpture, but he offered no other proof that Bronson was negligent. The defendants moved for a directed verdict. They claimed Krebs hadn't proven negligence, so the case shouldn't be submitted to the jury. The court granted the motion, reasoning that Krebs's claim must fail because he hadn't shown what caused Bronson to fall or be thrown into the sculptures. Krebs appealed to the District of Columbia Court of Appeals.